but I am back today on the channel, guys. Um, I'm so sorry that I want to come out and say that. Um, I promised you guys, I think two weeks ago, that um, that I was going to um, to start doing videos on Saturday and Sunday, but I couldn't get to it. Today is Monday, but um, I was over at my friend's house, so so yeah. But um, as you see, I have another. Lego say here for you guys today, and today it is Ronin's R E X guys. So um, as you see, the actual set or the R or the actual um R E X, I guess. Um, pretty detailed, highly detailed actually. I really like this, and um, the first thing that I want to point out is that these move as I guess rudders or something or engines were engines here. Yeah. And these are also these things on the side are also engines. So that's pretty cool. And this is landing in and, and this is landing form. So um so uh, that was just a little sneak preview I guess. But I'm gonna start with the minifigures for today. Okay first up we have Kai here. Um he has the same um two thousand fifteen clothing um and the 2015 um shorter pads or well not shorter pads but sword holders I guess so yeah that's pretty cool and um we have a little box here that um sits on the plane I'll show you this in a minute but um it could show or well well not show but um it can hold just like anything I mean like for example you see um Kai's mask here, I just put it in there just for for just cause. So yeah, not much to offer, but that's a little cool trinket. Moving on to Kai's weapon that you that they use. This looks like a Lego Shima weapon, but it's not. But um it this is very detailed and very cool. So I love how Lego included this. So yeah. Okay, next we have the um red arrow blade. This is pretty cool and everything, so yeah. Um if you have a two thousand fifteen Lego set, um you might have this one. So yeah, pretty cool. Next up we have Ronin here. Um and he has the little red hat you see. And uh and he has a lot of armor I guess. So yeah like armor. And everything and he has red um a little bit of red and a lot of green and he has an orange arm too right here so that's pretty cool and like I said he has a red hat too first time I've actually seen that on a Lego figure moving on to his weapons now he has two stud shooters with um reloaders on the back they are reloaders right here or reloader studs and you can shoot these with this little piece here and I'll show you guys that in a minute okay next up we have a um villain or a ghost his name is o a t il Italia or something like that yeah Itali Ital Italia or Italia yeah, yeah Talo. But yeah, he doesn't come with a lot of features. He just comes with the regular mask, um the ghost um printing, um the see through green um leg and everything. And he comes with a ghost sword as well. So he's pretty cool. Here we have a creeper, obviously. And he's holding a chicken wing. <laughs> chicken wing. But um yeah, he's also see through and he can fit on many fakes heads. So that's cool. And here is um Goltar. Yeah, Goltar. Oh yeah guys, and by the way the box is right here beside me, so that's so that's helping me. I don't know the um figures by heart yet. But but yeah, he has a purple hat. Um and everything. Um he ha he has the ghostly tail. As you see, and he also has his spear that I like. I, I love this spear, and he has like a um ghostly sword piece on it too. So that's pretty cool. 
just hold it like that sideways or whatever. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay guys, moving on to the actual set here. Um it says on the box that, that it has um one, two, three, four four play features. But to me in in my eyes it has way more than that. So this is one of them that they actually didn't show on the the play features side. And um I point out the little stuff, so I guess this is one is another one because these can move up and down. So that's pretty cool. Um, um um like I said I'm pointing out the little thing. And this is also a play feature to me. Kind of broke off. <laughs> but yeah, so this is also a play feature. You can move the um oh they don't look like those things are gonna break. Sorry about that guys. <laughs> So um here um is this or the engines I guess so yeah air intake here and um in the show it actually has a water farm too and, and I could actually do that with this um I'm just making this up um I think it went something like maybe this like the rudder or propeller or whatever you want to call them bent down like this and they would look like this. I guess get this one a little bit more straight. This fell off. Yeah, so I guess in the show it was like this or something. So yeah, it's it's on ball joints. It's on quite a few ball joints, so makes it easier for for all these parts to move around. Okay, here we go. Um, we also have the um inside. You just pop this open right here. And then you let the top down. It actually goes down quite a bit, but the um very detailed part about this is that this actually comes up, and this is usually where Ronin sits. I'm gonna bring this all the way up so you can kind of see it better. So he or the cockpit. Or, so yeah, this is where he he sits in here. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um. So yeah, and uh, I'm going to show you a look at the inside. You can see there's a lot of detail. I'm going to kind of put it up close to the camera so you can see the control panel right here. Um, and he has a little mug on the side there, and that's very cool. And you see these little um two things right here. Those are um where Ronin holds his extra bullets, I guess. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And you see there's like a little hallway that you can go in. I'm going to show you that a little bit later. So yeah, that's all the offer for the front. Moving on to kind of the back, sort of. As you see, um, it has a little handle right here. So you could maneuver better. Um, I'm going to see if I can get it on the camera. I might not be able to. Okay, you can see like the, like the gates up for the hallway. So that's pretty cool. You can see the... Um, the um, control panel right there in the corner. So and and it's also another one on the other side. So that's pretty cool. Um, and he has and the thing has the tubes. I really like that detail. And this is just a very detailed set. I really like this set, guys. I don't play with it as much, but um, I really like it. My detail. Lego did or Ninjago did a um good work to this set and um yeah it's just very well detailed um and um oh yeah I forgot almost forgot the main feature is uh um for for this um air jitsu part and I can actually put Kai in there right now I'm gonna take this off right here as you see it. What you do is, if you don't have one of these, what you do, you turn it, come, come straight off, um, or you can just pop it like this. So that's pretty cool. And then um, you're gonna have to take Kai's shoulder pads off, and um, probably his helmet, so you can get actually into the um, tube or whatever. And you're gonna have to be straight, so like arms and everything is down. I have to be straight like this. And yeah. 
Um, that's pretty cool. Put this in here. There and there we go. He's locked in. And um, I need to find the Ripper. That's what I'm looking for right now. I think it's in my room, but let me check. See if there's anywhere around you. I'm not seeing it. There's one was in here. But yeah, so so what you would do is you would actually put this in here. I'm sorry about this guys, but um I can't find the ripper. So you will, so you actually put put Kai in this little hole you see? This little hole right here. And you put him in here. And there's usually a ripper that would go like in this little slit right here. If you can see on the camera like this little slit right here. And it would go through there, go run all the way up into the main part so it'll go pass into all this right here and they'll go through that and then it's a little hole in the center. Um let me see if I can move cough. 